All right, we're here with uh, Ken from Quality Corporation. We're going to look at this 5,000 pound donkey and look at some of the most recent changes uh, that they've made improvements to the, the frame of the machine and other areas. Go ahead, Ken. Yes, we, we've increased the thickness of the angle up here and we've done away with, with the small angles that move the chain cases forward. And to accomplish that, we've made just a slightly longer uh, chain case to get the wheelbase necessary on the 5K machine. These changes also resulted in a straighter uh, prop shaft angle from the transmission, so we have far less trouble with the boots wearing out due to the uh, steeper angle in the older 5K machines. Uh, we've also added uh, uh, an accumulator that, that's an option, and it cushions the load when you're driving across rough ground, and it actually makes the forklift ride a little bit smoother, and it takes away the shock when the, the forks go up and down. I can show you how that operates. automatically. And you see it. So when you let go of that lever, it still goes down an inch or so to let it slowly yeah. come to a stop rather than just abruptly shake the load and cause wear and tear on other parts of the machine. That, and that's correct. It's, okay. it's just much smoother. We, we've improved the uh, fork positioner. It now has a valve on it. If it gets out of time, you can bring it back into time, and the fork positioner goes out a little bit wider and comes in much narrower. some of the recent changes we've made. This also has the 44-inch uh, reach forks. And they make it easier to drag a pallet from the far side of the truck so you can unload from one side. From the, the same and side, you don't have to go. This is 44 inches versus the, the standard uh, 5K 36 inch reach. Okay. And that's the extent of the, the recent changes we've made. Tony said there were some changes down here to the frame. Is that some different? Oh. Side shift, is, is, is we've lowered it so that the leverage the tilt cylinders have on the mast is about 20% greater, and so you'll experience far fewer rod in failures. Uh, and we've, we've also, and it's an older change, we went to 7 8 inch rod end on the 5K machine. Okay, and the frame, they, they made the frame material a lot thicker, correct? We, we make the, the chain case material, uh, we, we went from 3 16 to a quarter of an inch, and on the frame loop, we went from uh, a quarter of an inch to 5 16 and on the cross member that goes across and supports the mast, 
we've put gussets in it that uh, correct any problems we've had in the past there with breakage. Okay. Again, the machine's made in Denver, Colorado. The machine's made in Denver, Colorado and always has been. And we make most of the parts in the machine. All right, I appreciate it, Kim. Yeah.